Our story begins with the history of famines in South Asia. The region, particularly countries like India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan, has witnessed several devastating famines in its past. One of the most notorious among them was the Great Bengal Famine of 1943, which resulted in an estimated 3 million deaths. These famines were not just unfortunate natural disasters, they were exacerbated and in some cases even induced by British colonial policies. The colonial administration's focus on cash crops and export-oriented agriculture undermined local food security, leaving the population vulnerable to famine conditions. But how does this connect to health, you might ask? Well, this is where the story takes an intriguing turn. Dr. Mubin Siad proposes a theory that these historical famines led to a genetic adaptation among South Asians. This adaptation, while helping them survive periods of extreme food scarcity, could potentially increase the risk of metabolic disorders like diabetes. Imagine that. Surviving one famine could potentially double the risk of diabetes and obesity in the next generation. It's a chilling reminder of how the struggle for survival can imprint itself on our genes, with consequences that echo through generations. South Asians today are six times more likely to develop type 2 diabetes compared to Europeans. While lifestyle factors like diet and exercise definitely play a role, we cannot overlook the possible influence of this historical genetic adaptation. So what have we learned today? We've seen how the shadow of British colonialism in South Asia, through its role in triggering famines, might have left a lasting impact on the health of South Asians. We've explored the idea of genetic adaptation as a survival mechanism and its potential link to higher diabetes rates in the region. This isn't just about pointing fingers at the past, it's about understanding the deep-seated roots of health issues, which can help us devise better strategies to tackle them. The legacy of colonialism might be a bitter pill to swallow, but acknowledging it could be the first step towards a healthier future. In the end, history isn't just about the past, it's a lens through which we can understand our present and shape our future. And when it comes to health, it reminds us that the seeds sown by historical events can bear fruit in the most unexpected ways. Subscribe us for more interesting videos.